Question 14, part C. Uh, this little star means we're going to have to write quite a bit here to explain our answers. We've got this long story about Peter visiting his grandmother and have to design a timetable for which buses he needs to get. It's a very useful question. Uh, it's the kind of thing you go through if you are planning a long journey. So let's follow through the information that we've got. Peter lives in Harrow Lane. His grandmother lives in Swipe Crescent visits his grandmother, gets the bus from Harrow Lane to Swipe Crescent. So the beginning of our journey is going to have to be a bus from Harrow Lane to Swipe Crescent. So that's the beginning of his journey. We don't know what times yet, so we'll leave a little space so we can write those underneath. He wants to have at least three hours with his grandmother, so we know he's not going to be getting one of the later buses. And he needs to be back at Harrow Lane by six o'clock. So this is the best place to start because we have a time for his the end of his journey, which is just the opposite direction, so that's going to be from Swipe Crescent. To Harrow Lane we have to find out what's the latest bus it makes it easier that we'll get him back to Harrow Lane before 1600 before 4 p.m. so on the return buses to get to Harrow Lane the last one he can get is going to be this one the 1507 If he took the next one, he wouldn't get to Harrow Lane till after 1600 hours. So he has to get a bus to, from Swipe Crescent, which leaves at 15... 16... And will arrive... At Harrow Lane... At 15.49. So now we have his final part of the journey. So this is him coming home. Now, if he wants to stay at his grandmother's for at least three hours, we're going to have to work out the last possible time that he can arrive. So three hours before this, I'm just going to make a little note down here. We've got 15, 16, minus three hours to make sure he has at least enough time there. Is going to give us a time of 12.16. So 12.16. So we're looking at the outgoing timetable now to find out which bus he has to take. So he's coming to Swipe Crescent. So again, this bus would be far too late. Whereas this one, getting there at 11.41, which would give him over three hours and would match the criteria of the question. So we can assume this one. Now you can choose any of the buses before that because that would still give him at least three hours. By choosing an earlier bus, we could possibly have chosen an earlier bus later on. But this matches our criteria, so we'll stick with this one. So his outward journey is going to be the 1102. From Harrow Lane and it arrives at Swipe Crescent at 11.41. If you're meeting someone it's always good to have the exact times to give them but we've worked out everything that will allow him to get home. Let's just double check. Home at Harrow Lane by 1600. Yep we have that information. At least three hours with his grandmother. Well if he arrives at 11.41 three hours later 12.12 so that would be 1441 and he's definitely leaving after that so he knows he's leaving 1102 there we go we found a planned full timetable and shown where we've got our answers from good enough for four marks